You know, every now and then on a server like this, people get a little bit too comfortable. And right now is one of those times. Now, I've never taken one of these bad omens before. <laughs> and I think, so I think I have to get close to where where a village is, which I think there's a village. Well, there is a village down here where the iron farm is. I'm sorry there's no sound. I have other people in a group with me at the moment and I'm trying to be a little bit sneaky. So I've, I've had to cut off the desk there. See, I, things happened around me. I think that means bad things are about to happen. This could be bad. People are going to lose things. I don't want people to lose things. Uh, but I've got Bad Omen 2 there. Okay, it's a simple one. Let's see how this plays out. I'll go up here and then we'll see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Wait, hold on. Who's oh starting no. To raid? Uh, that was me. I'm so sorry. Oh, you started no. a raid? Oh dear. Hold on. I, I'm, hitting, um, I'm hitting the record button. Yeah, I need to I need record, record. You need, to have, you need to have a bottle oh. for that now. Well, just, I did uh, have a bottle, and now I don't have a bottle because I may or may not have consumed it. <laughs> what? How? <laughs> don't you hate I, it when you just accidentally drink stuff? This is the well, third time, isn't it? Third time? <laughs> This How is the you first time. I've never done it. drunk an ominous I've, potion three never, times. No, no, this, this is the first this time. time. <laughs> I've never done it before. They're all over at the iron farm. It's okay. I don't have to worry. Oh, wait. I have to worry. They're at the iron farm. <laughs> <laughs> That's within the spawn chunks. They're not going to despawn. You can't get rid of that. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> wait, who started it? Zink. Oh, I thought it was Lane. Okay, no. no. Always assume like Lane, huh? <laughs> it's like, why me? <laughs> it's a safe assumption, I think. I'm bringing them to spawn. Is that a good Do thing? you need to log on and help? Probably. <laughs> I think I'm it would there, be a good so I'm thing. cool with it. <laughs> okay. I'm on the way. They're, the they're way. at the coffee shop. They're at the coffee! Okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> I need to go. I need to go. I need to... Well, that's oh my gosh. Oh, I've actually never complete. done a proper raid before, and well, I don't have a bow. Go, there you go. This isn't oh, you going need to a bow. You need, need a bow. I need a bow. Okay, I'm going to thrift work, so I'll be right back. <laughs> you need to be able to get up on a roof. <laughs> oh, they're over oh, there. Oh, they're over there. Gosh. Okay. All right. If they drop any horns, I want one. If they drop any heads, <laughs> we need them. You better claim them, Zink. There she is. All right. Oh, cool. We got the backup guns yes the, the big backup guns. guns where is it uh the it's coffee the shop the, near it's the coffee, coffee shop, shop. Yeah, yeah. Word sink. you have it at the worst place <laughs> well look it, i'd like to say that it wasn't intentional but i feel like it was semi-intentional <laughs> i don't know why Knowing you. why i thought drinking it would be a good thing for starters but I thought maybe there was an achievement for drinking the potion. <laughs> I can't and find I thought, arrows. And I thought it's got to be safe here. Oh, oh, he's not happy with me. I have okay. oh, six. There's more. Oh, there's just a oh, ravager on shot. Zipper Bridge. That's grand. Zipper Bridge. <laughs> iron Zipper. They're trying to get into the iron farm. They are trying. Oh, the villagers. Yeah, that's get, that's what the well, only. They shouldn't be able to get down there. That's they the only should reason. be buried. Yeah. yeah. There's no trap doors or ways for them to get th unless they go yeah. through feathers. Well, there's tunnel. a witch behind the iron farm. I found a crossbow oh, with poison arrows. Oh, sorry, Lane. <laughs> Lane has First an. You bring a raid, and now you, you try to hit me. Lane has an wow, arrow she... firmly in the back of his head. <laughs> she dropped sugar, two, two sugar, two spider eyes, and seven redstone dust. That girl yeah. was loaded. Yeah. Wow. Oh, this. Oh, cred, crows, we're crows, closed. No, 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 I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm about to unalive. Crap. Oh, shoot. There's one of the fancy guys. Oh, Lane, sorry. Never mind. Lane. I killed him. I killed Lane him. It's fine. constantly moving in front of me. So which level potion did you accidentally drink? Two. <laughs> Only a two. It's okay. okay. It's not, okay. It's not, not too bad. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. The fairies. Oh, no. oh, shoot. The fairies. Oh, yeah. Lane. <laughs> Lane, no. Ah, <sighs> oh, no. Now I'm the first in line. No. Don't. It was easier when Lane was in front of me. 
One second, I'm trying to <laughs> carry Human shield. Human yeah, shield. that's right. Get him, Lane. <laughs> well, I currently have nothing now, so. <laughs> oh, see, I didn't Ooh, make I that like noise the crossbow. Earlier. That's a fun noise. <laughs> oh, I got a saddle. Noise? Okay. Got a hand, fancy hands, man. And my shovel. Oh, he's speedy. Don't be speedy. Be undead. <laughs> Uh, he's dead. But... Well, I can't Ooh. aim. I'm Ooh. poisoned. Watch out, ah. watch out for the Vexy guys. Oh my gosh, what level of poison was this? It was just a two. Ah. I'm gonna die. Don't die. Please don't I've die. Been on a life. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Anyone have a bed? Wait, I have a shield. I oh, oh, yeah, I can, I can. I can sleep Who's for the you guys. Who's the villager now? I was going to take a nice little nap in my little cave here. So <laughs> You're so helpful, Oda. Yeah, right. Uh, you, you do a really good job. I'm cheering you on. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. It's guys. awesome. It's awesome. Okay, I really like the crossbow. Ooh, I am just going to say. Heavy, heavy this. lag. Oh, oh shoot. Sorry, Zane. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I might just do that. Which one is it? This one. Okay. Yes, whack them with a bone. That's definitely gonna help. Stop finding me. That's up there. <laughs> I have Stop no food, BT dubs. <laughs> <laughs> Stop finding me. Stop finding me. Stop finding me. Stop finding Swim down, eh? Swim down. Stay, stay I down. Know. Stay deep. It's... I'm just trying to get some sand so I can get some food. Okay, I'm back. Got my spawn set somewhere more convenient now. Ow. Ow. Mr. Angry Vex, man, can you please Did, not? There are two of them. I'm here. I'm here. Ow. There it goes. All right. Oh, hey. oh we did it. Oh. Thank you all, and I I'm so sorry. You're fine. <laughs> I contributed very little to that. Ooh, okay, I have somebody's totem of undying here, E. Uh, I have one. Thank you, though. I've already oh. used two. Who, um, who else had one? I didn't have one. Uh, Picked up somebody's bow. Here is. They are dropped, by the way, is he? Here is online. compression. Thank you. Sucks. I've got the right. Oh, bow. Easy. There's that drowned head I gave you. <laughs> oh, thanks. Um, here somebody uh, can have it. Yeah, oh, grossy! So these one. pants are all warm. Okay. <laughs> You're the one that made the raid. You didn't yeah, ask yeah, for yeah, how true, I helped. Yeah, true, true, true. That's true. <laughs> oh, I have somebody's shield. That's not mine. <laughs> So, totally after not causing the problem that uh, nearly ended the server, <laughs> no. um, I've decided I think my character needs a bit of a haircut. I'm looking a bit woolly, so I might head over. There's a barber shop in town. So I might head over there and, uh, and see if we can get a little bit of a haircut. That's a good idea, isn't it? <laughs> So over here, I know Izzy has, like, even though it's an interior shop, there's actually, so inside here, this is actually a barber's shop. Maybe, maybe someone could come. Oh, hey, Izzy, how are you going? Oh, hi. What are you doing? Uh, you watering the window? Watering the plant. Ah. Very good. Very good. Sorry. You're, I am so like, bored. Like you. <laughs> well, I, I just thought it would look cute. I have a I have a task. Your shop is called Interiors, but I have yeah. an exterior problem. Oh, that's actually our entire motto for this place is that the exterior is your problem. So I don't think oh, there's right, much okay. to do about well, that. What but but it sort of plays into what you've got going here, this beautiful barber shop. I feel oh, like okay. I need a little bit of a, just a little bit of a trim, nothing major, um, something to, you know, just make me look, 
I'm looking a little bit old and sort of scraggly at the moment. I feel like just a little trim would make me feel a bit younger. Oh. Yeah. Can you manage okay. that? Okay. Um, that... No offense. It might take a little bit more than a trim. Uh, um, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> you know, it's not a big deal. Do I, oh, okay. I just, just sit in one of these? Or it yeah, go matter? ahead and sit on up here. Uh, this one, how do I get in? Just jump. Uh, there you go. Perfect. Oh. Right, this I'm um, step stool, this so. yeah yeah this um mirror is interesting. You can't see your reflection in the mirror. Did you know that? Oh, hmm. I mean, do you want to be able to see your reflection? Well, in the I, I, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, oh. so sorry. No, Got a little no, no, bit too close. Yeah, there. that's okay. That, okay. Yeah, yeah, just um, just yeah, just a trim it's off part the back. Of the process. Be, yep, there you go. So, yeah. Yep, you're welcome. No, I, don't, I trust you. I don't need to. Um, do I need to be worried about the <laughs> this chainsaw? Will not be a problem at all then. Using power tools on my head. Just a trim, yeah? Like just 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 a little bit off. How's it look? How did it come out? Uh, we we did our best. Did, it, Best way. Oh, you're just playing around. I'm sure it looks fine. Thank you very much, Izzy. Here is your um, payment. There you go. Oh. That's awesome. Thank you. Oh, I feel like a new man. That's awesome. It's, it's you, you, look, you look, you look different. Oh, I can feel the wind on my face. This is great. This is yeah. No, thank you very uh, much. All right. You're welcome. Oh, you thank should you. show E. Actually, I think she, she would, she would love to see E. Where's E? What? Where'd she? Just Where saw she? her. I don't Where know. is she? E, That's how are you days. going? Hey, do you like my new haircut? I don't. The silence bothers me. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? I have notes. <laughs> what? Okay, okay, okay. Notes? Back to the chair. Back to the chair. Back <laughs> no. to the chair. We're gonna. Fix wait, it. wait. What have you done? What have? We, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let me. Let me just have a look. Hang on. Hang on. It's not bad. Oh, boy, I like this. I look good. Oh, beautiful, Izzy. Thank you so much. I look so young. Ah, oh, it's a new it's lease weird. on life. I love it. This <laughs> is fantastic. Unnatural. It's fantastic. Thank you it's so weird. much. This is great. This is awesome. Thank you. All right. Wonderful. I'll be off. I'm going to go and do some things with my new face. Wait. <laughs> what's okay. what is it? What does it look like with armor on? Oh, it looks like... Oh, that's zinc worse. Oh, that's, that's, that's much better, actually. No, I like so that. Worse. That's much better. All right, you're all, you're good to go. Thank you, Zinc, for your patronage. I appreciate it. You have a good day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> okay, full disclosure. So Empress Little Bit made this skin for me based on my old skin, and I love it. I think it looks really good. I don't look quite as old manny as I did before. Look at me, I can wave my head around. It doesn't look old. What was I doing here? Anyway, I love this skin. I think it looks fantastic. Um, I was heading home. I've been working on the PvP arena on the interior, and there is a chest outside my house. That concerns me. What a world I live in where, <laughs> where something that's potentially good concerns me as much as what it does when a chest is left outside my house if i blow up in my new skin then you know what happened to me i know i think this will be very safe i'm sure it'll be safe i hope it'll be safe um there's no there's no way the top one I, i'm such a chicken i'm just gonna open it right nothing can be wrong there's no nothing can be wrong Ah, oh, this is from Arkenkai. Arkenkai, who lives over here across the way from me, um, just said that he was going to drop off some logs. So there you go. I need not have worried. These are the logs. And it's... Oh, wow. Look at all that. This is awesome. This is fuel for my super smelter. Um, so I'm using charcoal. So I need lots of logs. That is fantastic. I will get some shulker boxes together and I will grab all of that wood and bring it inside. Hi, I'm back again. It's me, <laughs> Younger Zinc. I still can't get used to it. Um, it. I am here underneath the PvP arena. I have put away the wood that um, Arkenkai gave me and 
turned it into charcoal. That's fantastic. And I am here working on a little bit of a redstone problem. And I thought I would show how poorly I do redstone. I have some things I need to set off that are going to be at the top of the arena. So I want some things to go from the top of the arena down towards the playing field. Now, let's, let's talk a little bit about my knowledge of redstone. I know enough redstone to get myself in trouble. And so I can generally work out things that I need or things I want to do um, with redstone. Uh, but generally it's pretty cumbersome and not real good. I have some things on me here, right? Now I know with a hopper clock, so the first thing I need is a timer of some sort. So I know with a hopper clock I can do this and I can make an etho hopper clock with some comparators going off, put some items in there and they'll back and forth if I had have had the comparators up and all the rest. I know how to do that, right? Now what I'm thinking though is that I need a timer where I can set a signal. Oh, now I've got a stuck stick. Oh, there we go. Um, where I can set a timer multiple times off one little sort of thing. There so, what I'm wondering is if I take this signal, say, and I put another hopper here and another one here and I get rid of that one because it's facing the wrong way and then I put one there I now have an eternal loop of one item right I do okay so so that's obvious redstone that's that's something just flowing around like that so now I could take that signal which is coming out of those hoppers and yes okay so I can measure the hopper so that every time that item goes around I get a signal sending out like that so I'm already proud of myself that's so simple but I'm already proud that I now have four signals going out if I was to how could I elongate that signal? How could I make that signal longer? Um, if I was to put more items in there, what's that going to do? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so this brings me to something. So is this how you do redstone? Do you just try it out and, and go for it? Do you already have a great knowledge of redstone and therefore you just know everything and you don't need to worry about it? I, as I say, I only know a little bit, so I sort of work it out as I go along and do this. I'll put things in and then take things out. Um, yeah, or are you a tutorial person? I don't like to go to the tutorial until I get stuck. I can't, like, stuck when I can't grab the redstone. Come on, get, get, okay. Everybody relax. Calm. Okay, so I think one of the things I need to do is, first of all, let's get this extended out so it's six, because that will just make me feel more comfortable, um, being that I can take from different areas, different, like, different, more more signals. What I'm trying to do, I want to have a single clock operating lots of random things. Okay, I don't want to give it away. It's you. I'm talking in riddles. Okay, so we have six, uh, five. We have five, six, six, five. We have five things <laughs> coming on. I'll learn to count soon. And how far out does the signal send though? when I'm doing it? That's a good question because that will be an issue. Um, if I put an item, I'll put my item in here again. Okay, one of those. So how far does that spread? Oh, that's only one, one space. Uh, let me see, just see that a bit clearer. Um, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, I have been just testing this to see if I put different items in to see how far they travel and things like that. 
um, just to give me you know, what I'm going to need to put in for an extended signal. And it has given me an idea. So to move on from this, um, to move on to something that randomizes. So I need, I need a way to give myself random time. Um, and that has given me an idea. So because a single item, like a, a 64 stackable item, sends out a pulse of one, a something that's non-stackable sends out a pulse of three. I think is what I've worked out over there and I've done some stuff before. So if I was to put a dispenser down and put a hopper into it like that, will it dispense into the hopper? Put a repeater there, set it long so I can make sure I can see it. Okay, now if I put an item in there, let's say a single item like a stick, and then I'll put something else in there as well, like something that isn't stackable. So let's say my axe. Okay. So then I just need to power it. Hang on. Okay. If I just put cobblestone there and a torch there, then I have my axe back. <laughs> I've created an axe dispenser and the stick remains in the dispenser. <laughs> Okay, let's just test it one more time. Maybe I was standing too close. Maybe if I stand a bit further back. Okay, the stick did something. Where's my stick gone? No, where's my stick? Aha, okay, so a dispenser does not. Okay, let's have a think about that. So what else can I use that would be random instead of a dispenser? What about... I wonder if a dropper would act any differently. Do I have a dropper? I do have a dropper. Okay, same deal, but with a dropper. Let me let me test this out. So put that in there and wait, I can send a signal from that thing over to here. Why aren't I doing that? I'll do that. If I just fill this up with items, because I'm so confident it's going to work. I don't know why I'm bothering. <laughs> Okay, I've attached this over here. Let me put an item in here and let's see what happens. Let's see if this will randomize the signal out. Okay, did it do it? It's doing it. It's sending a signal. They're going to call this the zinc randomizer. It's like the etho hopper clock, but it's the zinc randomizer. But I'm going to be world famous. This video is going to get millions of views. Millions of views. I we just have to wait and make sure that the <laughs> axe... Oh, did it just happen? The axe got... <laughs> the axe just got picked up when I wasn't looking. Okay, we watch it now. Watch it now. Watch it happen. So this is every time it picks up a single item, it's just sending a pulse of one. This is... Oh, did it just happen again? Uh, yes, there you go. It's doing it. It's doing it. So I can select between a 50% chance just by putting two items in the dropper and what a, uh, the, the, um, and a much smaller percentage, like a 10% sort of chance, um, just by putting more or less items into that, into that dropper. That's awesome. That sol solves the whole problem. Um, this is, I have invented something and this is, I'm a genius. I'm a genius. This is, this is my moment. Remember where you were. Uh, this is editing zinc here. Uh, so I have since found out that these particular randomizers are all over the internet. I haven't come up with anything. <laughs> Go about your business. <laughs> Have a lovely day. <laughs> okay, let's, let's, great. I mean, yeah wasted a whole lot of time let me take you on a tour of what i've done upstairs okay now we have wasted all that time with my redstone genius uh <laughs> i am outside the pvp arena what are we calling it i guess it's the battle dome that's what i want to call it the guys on the server think it looks like a pokeball we are not calling it that um so it's the uh yeah it's the battle dome 
that sounds grungy enough. You'll notice I'm not wearing pants and I'm not wearing a helmet. Um, there's a story and I will tell you the story when we get up there. Um, this is the PvP arena now. So I have put this little platform out for people to land on when they're, um, when they're coming over to, to have a match. And then I've just started with some of the exterior stuff. So I, K-Hug had this great idea for pipes. Um, I wanted these to look like they were sending water up. So I've put like a blue glass in there. So that looks a little bit like water going through, flowing through. Um, yeah, I, I, I like the idea of this. I mean, it's, as I say, it's K-Hug's uh, design or I pinched it from him. So um, go and check out his channel. Uh, inside here, I have done very little, but I am going to pick up some of these because I want to show you. So one of the things I want to do is to go around the outside and add in some, um, like just some random pieces of messiness uh, to, to make it look a little bit more industrial. So not on every one, but every now and then sort of have, yeah, just have these sort of stuck around and things like that. Just to, you know, so it doesn't look so so structured. I, you know, my builds, I like things to look a little bit messy. So I'll just stick a couple of these around and then we'll step back and have a look. But I think these are going to sort of do the trick. Um, but this is just to give you an idea once I get back around. Yep, yeah, no problems. Um, back around here, I'll have a look at it and see what it looks like. I think, um, yeah, just some of these and some, maybe some vines or some moss or something, or we'll, we'll have a look and see what we can add to the outside to mess it up a little bit. Maybe some um, like copper, uh, copper rods and things like that too. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. I like that. I think maybe that one there is a little bit too much, but um, but I think it sort of gets the look across. And once I sort of put some more of that down and around, I think it'll look really good. Um, yeah, that yeah, that's looking good. I like that. Look, with, the, with the piping and things, I think that's sort of looking good. The reason I want to is see this mess up here now. I put the redstone on top and look at what I've done. It looks horrible. Um, but that's okay. We'll deal with that eventually. So anyway, that's the idea for the outside. Um, now the inside, as you can see, I'll just get rid of a bit of this because I hate someone made comment. Who was it? E, Empress Little Bit. She made comment during the week um, or the week before or something that my inventory stresses her out. <laughs> So good, there you go. Look at look at how neat it is now. That'll make it better. Um, <laughs> so let's just give ourselves space. Okay. Um, so yes, I haven't done the interior here. As you can see, um, this area is a big void. And I need to... Oh, there's a spot up there I've forgotten. That's all right. We'll get to that. Get to that eventually. Um, so this area over here, this is one of the spots where one of the contestants will come up. There's another one just over the other side there. So people will come up from either side and they will begin battle from either end. Um, someone had come up with the suggestion that maybe I put like a viewing platform around the edge, like for people, for, for audience members to, to watch audience members yeah people watching i need to sleep um and i like that idea um but there are problems with that idea and that is like if i put something there and then people are running around the arena having a fight and and you're stuck back up there then you're not going to see half of the fight so i thought well what about instead of that what about if I put something in the middle? And so I did. I put something in the middle where you can go into that and then you can look around and watch watch the battle happening. Um, oh, yeah. Well, you can see, you can sort of see what I've done. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm a bit shambled, shambled. I'm a bit messed up with my head at the moment trying to work out what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so you can see, you can look out and watch the PvP match happen. 
Um, and there are some special things because one of the things about watching PvP that I get annoyed with is I want to be in the match. What if you could be in the match as an audience member? What about if you had, let's say, a special little lever that you could pull that might impact the game a little bit? <laughs> So they're at face level. Um, some of them are duration three, some duration twos, and it doesn't matter. It's as much there to scare you, but also to give people who are watching the match a little bit of fun. So if people get in the way, you can just flick the switch and, um, and set a charge off towards people. And it does a bit of damage. If people don't have armor on, that's going to hurt a little bit. So that's good. Um, that's just a bit of fun, I thought. Um, yeah, so I've got this platform here. I also have my redstone still here, which I will need. And I have a workbench here that I also need. Let me clear this up. Okay, I'll give you a really quick tour of, of what I've done here. It's pretty obvious, right? So what I've tried to do is get like a little bit of a grasp of each biome and not have places where people can get up on top of things and hide. Um, yeah, so everywhere you look, there'll be two high blocks. Um, but yeah, so I've got like a little bit of an end thing with the chorus fruit um, and a little end city there. Again, you can't get up onto it and the end wall there. Um, and then you'll move from there. You can run around uh, to, say, the nether and you can run around here too. You'll notice I put some little like trick trip me up sort of things things that might ouch a little bit on your feet um a little bit of a nether fortress there uh oh i need to block that off with something but i need to have light um yeah so i've just tried to grasp sort of different biomes and have different little things that are going to hurt a little bit as you go around um you'll see over here there is a horse and a donkey um, so the donkey here, these are statue mods, right? They they're use, use the armor stand, put a head on the top of it, and then you create the actual, the actual beast that you got the head from. Um, I left them with the stone plates underneath so they look like models, so they don't look like the real thing. That was sort of my goal, and I think I did pretty good with that. Um, little armadillo, there's a polar bear over there. There's someone inside that house. And there's an ocelot as well. Um, cactuses and acacia trees. So we have a bit of a savanna there, and then a badlands and a desert. So and a you know, little bit of water, just a little bit. I, I need to put a puffer fish in there, don't I? Um, <laughs> and then over here, like a little bit of a plains with a villager house. And look, a little zombie villager inside there. Um, yeah. You know, rockeries and things like that. Just things to, to make things look a little bit... Um, I don't know what the word is. Like like organic. I wanted it to look a little bit like um, like each biome. You know, that was the goal. And I think I've captured that. There's my little ocelot there. So this is the jungle one, obviously. Yeah, so that's basically what I've done. Now, you can eat the berries during a match. Um, that would be possible. And that would be fine because the berries don't give you much anyway and if you're going to stand still and do this then the other person is doing something wrong oh there's an end dragon back up there too uh let's head over here i will tell you my story my tale of woe so i was uh i was building this here and putting the that copper up the um up that chimney thing there and i was flying up and i as I was flying up, I wanted to put some more copper up the top there. And um, and I tried about three or four times. I couldn't get up onto there. I kept missing it. So I thought, well, I'm just going to fly into it. Doesn't matter. Smack into it and I'll stop. I use flight duration threes. I flew up there, smacked into it, and then ricocheted off and bounced off a bit of glass over there somewhere and splattered down here. I landed like, well, I died when I landed, but I had my spawn set just over there. And that was awesome. All my gear still here, fantastic, except for my pants and my helmet, which fell onto the cactus. So well done, Mojang, on, you know, I've got gear that is essentially lava proof 
Um, however, if it touches one little prickle on a cactus, then it's gone forever. So I need to go and do some uh, netherite finding again, More get myself some more netherite gear. Um, so as you can see, I mean, I still have a lot to go here. I still have a lot to do around the arena. This has taken me a really long time getting this done. And with the little hiccup last week, um, I wasn't doing as much as I should do. Um, but I'll get this thing finished. I'll get downstairs finished as well. I think that's about enough for this week. I'll wrap it up here. Wait, no, I won't. Let me show you the redstone on top of the thing. I went on for 10 minutes about redstone. There's my timer. Sends the signal off. Um, down into... You, you heard that? <laughs> there was a, a noise that happened there. Sends the signal down here, all the way down around here, and then into Zinkberg's trademarked uh, <laughs> randomizer. <laughs> when the shovel goes through, it'll fire an arrow. Otherwise, it won't fire an arrow. So I have 11 of these things around the top of the arena. And the idea will be that it will shower arrows down, not shower them down. It'll just put some arrows down onto the field down below every now and then, just to give a little bit of a scare to people as well. So, um, yeah, this I think this is a really cool design. And I'm glad I came up with it and invented it all by myself without looking at anyone else's design that's been around for 13 years. Um, good job. Okay, that will do us this week. Hang on a sec, guys. I'll sleep and then I'll uh, we'll do the thing. Okay, thank you so much for joining me, guys. Thank you for your patience and your support last week with me not, um, not putting out an episode. As I say, it felt very uncomfortable. It's the first time in almost two years or a year and a half or something that I haven't put a video out and I was, I was quite scared about it but um, anyway thank you so much for your support with it and everything is fine um, we just had a few little issues that I needed to get through um, have a great week guys I will see you back on the single player world next week I believe I will be getting some people in here to do some PvP and that will be the next Craftworks episode you will see I'm not sure when that's coming out but uh, either either next week or the week after um, love you all to death guys you guys are the absolute best and leave me a comment like subscribe do all the things you need to do you know what to do love you guys have a great week I'll see you later and bye.